Mom, you should come and see this. What is going on, y'all? It is Fart Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Today is April the 23rd. We're going to go over the news that you need to know. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button, the bell notification icon, and drop us a like. Let's get in here and talk about it. It was a small update released on April the 18th for Fallout 76, and while this may have been a small update, it had huge implications in the wasteland because it fixed things like the power user perk card not working properly. It took away some of the durability lost from energy weapons, so energy weapons last longer, and there was a magnitude of other fixes that they had in there, but there also was a problem reported by members in the community that their installs of Fallout 76 were being removed off of their systems. Now, being on Steam, I didn't see this problem, but we heard about it. We saw about it on the official Bethesda Discord. It was absolutely crazy, but hey, at least they got it working, and I still don't know exactly what happened and why that happened. The playtest server was released on Friday, April 21st, and the updates in that are absolutely freaking amazing. There are so many things, and we covered a video on it where we didn't give any spoilers about the events or anything like that. Just the quality of life changes coming to the wasteland. You do not want to miss that. And that's the news that I think you should know for the week of April the 23rd. We will have links to everything in the description below. Y'all, the Mothman Equinox also starts on Tuesday, April the 25th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am heckin' excited and I look forward to doing it. It'll be my first time actually doing this event. And speaking of things that we think you should know, Naked Vault Dweller has a video out telling you where Minerva is going to be April the 27th through May the 1st. Y'all, you're not going to want to miss this and you're not going to want to miss her rewards. And if you don't mind learning about the new events and new cryptids, then Tonic has the video for y'all. It is a first look at the new PTS update. It is absolutely put together so well. Y'all, I played on the PTS and it was absolutely so much fun. If you don't mind spoilers, definitely check this video out. And Uranium Fever has an amazing video talking about the new event rewards for Fallout 76. Y'all are not going to want to miss this either. It's absolutely put together so heckin' well. Yeah, spoilers ahead with it, but y'all, just like Tonic's video, it's well worth a watch in my opinion. And if you're interested in seeing what may be coming to the Atomic Shop or the scoreboard rewards, DTD Gamer has a video talking about the new data mined items coming into Fallout 76. Y'all, this video is absolutely amazing. I'm super excited to see these items either come into the scoreboard or into the Atomic Shop. Have you ever wanted to run around the wasteland like a madman just having a chainsaw or an auto axe just out and burn everything and killing it straight off the bat? Well, if so, then you might want to watch Angry Turtles video where he talks about just that exact thing, the one-touch kill, the OP auto axe and chainsaw build for Fallout 76. And one of my favorite weapons to have in my arsenal, you know, the big bag of tricks that a loot goblin has. Well, it's the plasma caster and Wiggle Plays goes over the plasma caster and showing you everything about it. Y'all, I love this gun. I love Wiggle. It is absolutely a great video. Go out there and check it out. Now, again, spoiler alert, because this is from the PTS. So don't watch this if you don't want any spoilers. But Rifle Gaming asked the question, what happens if they nuke? The Agua new cryptid. Is it like the other cryptids that change if they're in a nuked zone? Pineapple goes over the ways that they think that nuclear winter can return to the wasteland. I am absolutely all for this. I want nuclear winter back. I would love to have it back and for new people to experience what we got to experience all those years ago. And coming in at the final spot in the content creator showcase is TNG with the Unreal Player Made Camps, the top five camps of the week. Y'all definitely check it out. Like I always say, the builders out there in the wasteland absolutely blow my mind with their imagination and creativity. Y'all, thank you so much for checking this video out. I'd love to thank our channel members. Afrugan, Just, Jake, Herb, Cross, Blood, Sebastian, Nova, Prophet, Dreamy, Houdini, Bankai, Super, Loki, Zach, CRM, Jesse, Commander, Falcon, Blaze, Mataz, I, Goat, Randy, Bud, Cranberry, Relish, Lilith, Humdog, Justin, Gravy, Train, Bay, That, One, Nickus, Gaming, Dan, I, Mr. Me, Not You, Thomas, Sweet Tea, Scotty, Lady Evil, Bon, Quinn, Indy, and LT. Thank y'all so much for supporting us out here on the journey through the wasteland. Y'all have a great, wonderful day. We'll see y'all at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for some fun out in the wasteland. Peace, y'all.